So this question is a diagram question. We have this visual input provided for us here. We're provided with this angle degree measurement here of 33 degrees. This one here is x degrees. Looks like lines m and n are parallel, but I'll keep reading just to make sure of that. So the question here says in the figure line m is parallel to line n. Now that's important because as long as these two lines are parallel, that means I can make some assumptions about the angles that are formed by this transversal here, that I'll just put a dot at the end of the line of the transversal, that crosses those two parallel lines. One is that if this is 33 degrees, so is this. That's also 33 degrees based upon those angles being vertical angles. And I'd also know that this angle here is 147 degrees because we want this entire angle here to be a straight angle, which is 180, and 33 plus 147 is 180. Remember that. Angle for a straight line is 180 degrees. Also of importance is if this angle here is 147, then so is angle X. This has to also be 147. And the reason for that is something called com uh, corresponding angles. So corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent. And the way that I like to remember them is they are made in the exact same way, right? So this 147 degree angle, let me just clear this up so we can see it clearly from here since we're focusing on it. The 147 degrees here is under the transversal. So I'll highlight in red here. And it's to the left of the vertical line or the parallel line, I should say. And so is angle X. X is also under the transversal and left of the parallel line, which is why it's the exact same degree measurement. So our answer here, right, what is the value of X, is choice D, 147.